Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. Hello, hello, hello and welcome to Season 5 of Winner Home, South Africa's premier interior design reality competition. This year, coming to you live on SABC3. And finally, I'm not alone. No, we're tag teaming. You're definitely not alone. I am Tabi Soma Kubela. And the title says it all. At the end of the series, one lucky viewer will walk away with a brand new home with more than three million rand. Now, this is definitely, without a doubt, the biggest prize on SA television. Sure, it is <laughs> exciting, South Africa. I cannot wait to reveal those winners in a couple of episodes to come. My name is Danilo Aquisto, and over the next 13 weeks, we'll follow all the drama as three young design duos transform three empty apartments into luxury decorated dream homes, one of which you could win. Ah, I'm sure you're wondering where this potential home is going to be. This year's competition heads over to Somerset West, just outside of Cape Town, to an exciting new development located in an area that is rich in history. The spectacular Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate by Baldwin Properties has won two international property awards, and it's easy to see why. The estate has a variety of property offerings to suit everyone. Hey, Daniello. How's it going, Gabriel? Yeah, all good. Come on in. Thank you. Property executive Gabriel Damata knows all about the estate and what makes it so special. So it feels like when you walk into an estate, thank you very much, that you'd imagine new builds being the big focus. Whereas here it feels like there's history built into the fabric. Yeah, I mean, this building itself has been here for 102 years. Herbert Baker designed these back in the early 1900s. Uh, the same architect as the Union Buildings, of course. So he definitely left his footprint behind. So this area was an industrial heartland back in the day. It's now turned over a new leaf by virtue of the way that the estate has been structured. It's now a commercial and residential hub for the Strand Somerset West area. With such a rich heritage, it must have been vital to keep some of the original elements in the home. So what's been retained and what's new? Um, we're bound by the heritage uh, decisions in, in that regard. So we did keep the original structure with the original roofs. Uh, you have the original staircase, the original Oregon pine wooden flooring. Uh, you also have the original shutters and original door frames, window frames, as far as possible. Some were left beyond repair, so we, we had to replace those. And then you've got the new tiling, plumbing, electrical, as well as the fourth bedroom downstairs and the double garage. Heritage allowed us to do that addition. Uh, it still fits in with the aesthetic, that's the main test. I personally love the aesthetic in this home, but what about somebody who's looking for something new, freshly built? We have various options in the estate that are on the newly built side, that's duplexes and apartments. Um, I can show you around if you'd like. Yeah, I love it. Thank I you. Take a look. The estate includes 16 duplex units. Each have a balcony off the main bedroom, a private garden with swimming pool that enjoys a maintenance service included in the levy, a stunning glass-covered double-volume entrance area and a wood-burning fireplace. Come on in, Daniel. Sure. This is stunning. Yeah, these are the three-bedroom duplexes, the first type unit in the modern build. Uh, in the Cape vernacular style. They come with a single garage, a heated pool, private garden, really geared towards a young family looking for some peace and security in estate living. The nice thing here is that we've still kept a bit of a heritage feel. It's built in the heritage precinct and that means we have to build with a pitched roof and allow a lot, a lot of openness towards the public areas for visual aspects. When you're buying a home, you're not just buying brick and mortar, you're buying into a whole region. Well, that's correct, and the lifestyle for the region is very much geared towards the outdoors, Daniela. You're five minutes from the beach. You have a flay, a natural flay area on your doorstep, nice biking and walking trails for the families, um, as well as our units, which have great facilities. I'm, I'm sure there'll be a lot of bra shared in the area. And in the estate itself, if, if families don't want a bra, there are restaurants, facilities, as well as a gym that's included in the levy. So owners have some nice facilities on their doorstep, as well as in the greater part of flay area. So now we've seen the freestanding homes. I'm dying to see the apartment offering. Yes, we have one, two and three bedroom apartment offerings in the area. Come take a look. Stunning, cool. <laughs> Each estate is as stunning as the next at Part of Flay, and this one has a spectacular setting indeed. 
This is Potiphar Square, Danilo. This was our first development in Potiphar started approximately two years ago. Um, it's been fully completed and this comprises of 87 units, mainly three bedroom apartments, with a big part of those apartments looking onto the flay. This side is the reason why the square gets its name. This is the green square, which has a pool area, a heated pool um, for the residents to enjoy. And if you like this estate offering and you like the area, but you're looking for something more cost effective, then you'll really like the Jade. And that's our entry level uh, usual Bowen offering that is for sale in the part of Lay area. And those are one, two and three bedroom apartments in our typical block design that has a lifestyle center with restaurant and gym. And that's also in the part of Lay area, just down the road from part of Lay Square. Well, there really is so much on offer here, but we're here for winter home. Where are those apartments? That's just down the road, Daniela, that's at part of Lay Lifestyle Estate, which is still under development. Um, so we'll need a hard aid if we are gonna go check that out. Let's go. There is literally so much on the go, you can feel the energy just in the space here. Is this where the action's gonna happen? Spot on, Danilo. It's these three units at the top of these blocks that form part of the Winner Home competition. There's only a handful of these double volume units in the estate, and being on the third floor, they really have the best views out of all the units in their estate. So I'm really excited for the winner of this unit. They really are winning a dream home. Well, Gabriel, you've got me all excited, and I hope you are too. That's why we call this Win A Home. Indeed. Very soon, you could be calling Part of Play Lifestyle Estate your very own home. It's stunning, dude. I love it. I love oh. it. Visit privateproperty.co.za and enter the grand prize competition to stand a chance of winning. You can enter once per day to increase your chances. Now that's right, in case you were wondering what's going on with all these doors behind us, all these doors, well, you, we are adding a very special new surprise element to this edition or this season of Winter Home, but you'll have to stay tuned to find out more, right? <laughs> Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to Winner Home on SABC3, where the stage is yours. Now, Winner Home is all about celebrating South African creative talent. And over the series, we're going to be following the journey of three design duos as they take three empty penthouse apartments at Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate and they turn them into the most beautifully styled dream homes, room by room, Daniela. Oh, it is <laughs> riveting, dude. This competition always gets me excited. They'll be competing for a cash prize of, listen to this, mm. 100,000 Rand mm. and the title of South Africa's best young interior design. Designers. Ah, well, interestingly enough, though, each of this season's three design duos has had one member who's living in Johannesburg had to relocate to Cape Town. And this speaks to the drive and passion of these dynamic duos. Let's meet them. This dynamic duo met by chance through a shared love of design, where it was furniture that was the conversation starter. My name is Koketo Marole, um, currently known as Koki here in Cape Town, ever since I moved, like my name just changed. Uh -huh. I'm an interior designer by profession and part-time model. My name is Rikupi Lebelebesi and uh, I am an artist and entrepreneur. I'm formerly from Johannesburg, but currently enjoying all that Cape Town has to offer. We met at Design Jobic three months ago. Literally, that's how long we've known each other. It was a random occurrence because I was manning the stand and she came up to me and she smiled and I smiled back <laughs> because smiles are contagious. I mean, you can see, as you can see, <laughs> addictive she is. Yes. So it was beautiful and I'm so glad I said hello because they wouldn't be sitting here today. I'm glad she did say hello. <laughs> yes. She saw me, I saw her together. Magic. Now we're here. Magic. I moved to Cape Town like right after I graduated from varsity and um, for me it has been the, the, the best experience of my life. I mean, I've, I've loved it since I got here. You know, it's just the scenery, the air, like you just take everything in and it just, it humbles you and it's, it's just this majestic beauty that you get from Cape Town. My boyfriend always said like, that you need to go into modeling. And I was like, ah, yes, I will. Like, eventually I will. And then he's like, no, you must do it now. But he also had an issue because he, he never drank water. So I was like, okay, here's the deal. If you drink water, I'll sign up with an agency. And then he started drinking water and then I had no choice but to sign up. 
tornado in that <laughs> story of yours, darling. <laughs> Your boyfriend just needed to be hydrated. What I love about modeling is that I get to stand in front of the camera and not talk at all. I mean, it's, it's a brief moment where I just, I'm just in me and express myself without saying a word. Because I talk a lot and everybody that knows me knows I am. <laughs> they can attest to that. Yeah, so that for me is the beauty in stillness. And that's what I love. Residing until recently in Johannesburg, Recopile's interest in bespoke furniture design came after she identified a gap in the market. I have a small business in Johannesburg where I reinvent and uh, upcycle pre-loved furniture. It really just started with my love for collecting eclectic furniture and bespoke pieces for my own apartment. My friends then started wanting to poach from me and I said, no, 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 we're not going to do that. I have to find a way to do the same thing at commercial value. Also, I collected so many pieces that my apartment could not contain them anymore. So it just dawned on me, why don't you actually find people who can do great craftsmanship and great upholstery, find the right fabrics so that these pieces become the bespoke elements in people's homes. So that's just how my love for design, furniture and interior design began. It really is amazing to start something from the heart and to see you know, just how much happiness it brings in people's lives. When I got the call from the production team of Winner Home that we were selected as one of the three doers, I was like, uh, Rico, it's time to move. Yeah, it happened so quickly. I mean, I had to neatly pack my life in a box and take my car on a train and fly to Cape Town. And I'm, it's the best decision I've made. So exciting. Are you here? We're here. Together. <laughs> now that Rico Pile has relocated to Cape Town for the Winner Home Design Challenge, the duo is sharing in all that the vibrant city has to offer. Our first Thursdays in Cape Town is like really amazing. Um, all the galleries are open and they're like on one street, which makes it easy to move from one to the next. Also, there's free wine. That's the thing about first Thursdays. It's like, there's always free liquor. But I mean, I really appreciate the art and I appreciate just what the space has to offer. It's really stimulating. And by looking at some of the work, we've already seen who we want to collaborate with and bring some of that to our house. We are gallery hoppers. <laughs> Ideally, we would like to own one. Yes, it would be nice. And then, I mean, it's just, yeah. a, it's, it's just a different way to look at art and have it with, within our space, you know, and just interpretation, yeah, also interpretation also yes, of emotion. Definitely. There's just so much depth um, in gallery spaces, and it's never full, it's never cluttered, at yes. least, and I appreciate Ooh, that a lot. Simplicity, that's where we come in. Yes. Like, the I'm a minimalist. Sophistication. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What gives us the edge is the fact that we don't know each other long. So this is going to be a journey for both of us to get to know each other in this process. Yeah, and I, I, I love the fact that we don't know each other for long because something about time also can create a sense of complacency. Yeah. Here, we get to appreciate and respect each other as creative people, just as a, there's a creative license for her and myself. And that coming together, there's a professional element that's very necessary. Uh, execution of designs is imperative. We have a client to please and we have a view viewers to please. So there's work to be done. Yes. <laughs> and, and what makes us amazing, I mean, 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 hello. Oh, you're looking yes. hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My name is Kihumila Mate, and I'm an interior designer. I'm a photographer and fine artist. And I hail all the way from Johannesburg, the crazy concrete jungle. Uh, my name is Nicholas Smith. I'm an interior architect. I've been practicing for the last two years now, and originally from the Garden Route, but I've uh, been living in Cape Town for five years now. I've followed Winner Home for, for a few years now and uh, I think I really, for the first time, watched when, when Rudy Jordan was on because he had been a lecturer of ours at college. So that was really epic to see someone you knew kind of on the show and then see how it's kind of led to their success. And I mean, when Kevin Miller came to me with the opportunity, I was just like, this is, this is it, this is everything. We need, to, we need to go for this. My love for photography began when I was a child and I've always had a camera in my hand and I fell in love with the ability to capture a moment, to pause a moment in time and being able to reflect on a certain moment that the normal eye doesn't get to reflect on. Besides photography, uh, I'm a fine artist and I enjoy sketching, I enjoy printmaking and I love sketching the most because I get to kind of make mistakes and rectify the mistakes unlike um, other types of media and I'm able to capture the essence of whatever I'm drawing. And just me living in Maboneng, I just love um, how drenched I am in the creative scene of Johannesburg. The grunge and the creatives just all mashed up together. As much as I love Johannesburg, after receiving the confirmation, 
to be a part of this great opportunity. I just had to pack my bags. I just sent him a text. I was like, dude, like I need a design partner. And all he said was, my bro, say no more. <laughs> Legit, that's what he said. <laughs> And then he kind of led in with, the, I need a partner for, for Winner Home and that. And, and I was just like, what, that's insane. Um, so we really grabbed at the opportunity and he basically dropped everything to come here and be here. So we're staying now together and it's epic. We get all the time we need in the studio. We can work through the night and yeah, we're just pushing it every, every day. It's amazing. That reconnection of also of our friendship is through the design also happening. It's and amazing. Yeah, we've always wanted an opportunity to work together and we've kind of like mentioned it a few times and it just hasn't hasn't come across and, and then this opportunity has come up and it's just been like, oh, perfect. Another creative outlet of mine is DJing. I've been DJing for maybe a year and a half now, DJ part-time. What do you DJ as? My DJ name is DJ Corovela. Yeah, that's, that's my DJ name. And what does that mean? It means the love potion. The love potion. <laughs> See, he's laughing. <laughs> I have a passion for restoring motorcycles and, and vintage scooters. Um, and I think that was born from having access to a workshop from an early age and being able to engage and, and work with my hands and kind of explorative play and that sort of thing. Yeah, and that I think connects to interior design where you're kind of taking something old and you start with a set of constraints and, and you work with those to, to build something new, kind of add a bit of personality and really engage with the piece and, and give it new life. I used to do a whole bunch of other working with timber and that sort of thing, but have recently like reconnected with mechanics and that. Uh, and I think that's got a big connection with, with both my grandparents coming from a mechanical background. Um, so reconnecting with that and engaging with that, is, it's been a really exciting outlet for me. Straight out of college, I started work for a big architectural firm in, in Cape Town. Was fortunate enough to work on projects all over the world. Kind of gave me the confidence to open my own thing and I've been doing that now since February. When I first moved here, it was, it was a lot about skateboarding and now it's a bit of more scootering because I need to get further around and, and get to things. But I think for both of us, it's, it's just being on the street. We love being free and not being restrained. And I think skating, that's the point where we truly join because we free spirits that have been in this industry and this industry is not really free. So us getting the air through our heads and hair. It's like kind of, it's an expressive form. You, you don't have to be good at it. It's just, you're out there, you're doing it, you're challenging yourself and exploring it for yourself and just enjoying it. Uh, essentially, it's that, it's that passion, that drive, that 150% that commitment that, that we have as a team. That we're, not, we're not here to play games, we're here to... No games to play here. That yeah. oomph, Push we to the bring head. the competition to start. To smash it. 150% or nothing. Smashed it. That's how we're gonna smash it. Having met seven years ago when they were studying together, this duo bonded through their shared tastes in design and life goals. But until recently, they were living 1,400 kilometers apart. I'm Sinead Turner, I'm an interior designer, and I hail from Joburg. I'm Melissa Westhazen and I'm an interior designer and owner of a business focusing on interior design and custom furniture. And we are besties! And recent housemates. We found out about the Winner Home show through Jacqueline Sema. She was the winner of season two of Winner Home. So last year we put forward our submission and we unfortunately missed the deadline by three hours. hours yeah. <laughs> um, so this year we decided we'd try our luck again. And, and we got lucky! And we got lucky. <laughs> We met in Joburg, both studying at Greenside Design Centre and very quickly clicked over mm. our mutual design values and numerous all-nighters. <laughs> lots of coffee. <laughs> lots of coffee and giggles and yeah, we maintained a long-distance relationship, lots of voice notes and memes. Mm. And, and FaceTimes. <laughs> when we found out about this opportunity, it sort of became quite a serendipitous thing and we yeah use it up as an opportunity to pack Come up her together. life and get her down to Cape Town. It really honestly was quite something universal that happened. The way it all unfolded and just, it just the life things it was meant to be. 
I, for two years, worked in the corporate world, in corporate design, and while it was lovely, I found that it wasn't what I wanted, so I moved from there into the exhibition design world. Worked there for a year, and the fast pace of everything really got my blood pumping. So then I decided to move away from that, and I started freelancing, and I built an entire studio up for myself in my house, and I offer full turnkey services from design up until project management, up until completion. As a designer, I think one of the most important things for me is watching my designs come to life on site, especially when you're actually physically in the space and being able to interact with it, touch your wallpapers that have been put on, and I, th I think that's probably one of the best things about being a designer. I am an interior designer and I do a lot of custom furniture pieces. I've got my two site supervising dogs that since small have come with everywhere to all meetings and site meetings and sample sourcing and wherever I go they go and they're fantastic to have on like site. Shadows. They are little <laughs> shadows. Uh, Mullins is a rough collie, he's four years old and Gus is a little pavement special mixed breed <laughs> rescue and he's about a year and a half and they are absolutely amazing and they really bring out the best in me and my lifestyle and yeah, we get outdoors a lot more and they're just brilliant. My passion for interior design and bespoke furniture stems from the fact that we engage with furniture and interior spaces all day, every day and they need to be well considered to be both functional and aesthetically pleasing to make people feel good and to make life easier and better for people on a whole. Mm -hmm. If we can have an effect on you know, the way people use and function with furniture and in spaces, hopefully we can use that to positively affect the way human beings behave in spaces and with each other to, in, at the end of the day, try and make the world a better place. Our passion for permaculture, it started in college and it was inspirational learning about permaculture which is essentially designing with nature and designing closed systems to try and reduce waste and make for healthier spaces and people in the best way possible. What sets us apart as the design duo to watch in this season is our passion for permaculture and and our minimalistic design style, bringing plants and nature into spaces in ways like you've never seen before. Could they get any different? But I think with those three design duos, we make a pretty good team. Yeah, I think so too. Just give us some design things to work on and then let's see if we could smash it for 100,000 bucks. Trust me, they're far too talented. <laughs> we are just going to stick to our day jobs. Now that you've met the design duos, make sure that you enter the grand prize competition on privateproperty.co.za by voting for your favorite design duo, giving you a chance to win the ultimate prize your choice of one of the three completed apartments as decorated by our design duos. Mm, that's awesome. right. That's absolutely amazing. But listen, after the break, we meet this year's judges who will be looking at each and every element of the apartments with a very critical eye. And you need to stay right there. <laughs> Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. <laughs> Welcome back to Winter Home Season 5 on SABC3. Now, Winter Home Season 5, it's time for us to meet the main judges. They're going to be following the journey of each design duo with very critical eyes. And, I mean, Danilo and I have been on a competition that searches for talent, and we know those <sighs> eyes can be really critical. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> and these, they're going to be looking after every centimeter of Everything. those apartments. Everything. Trust me, last season I found the detail. These guys are even worse. At the end of the road, they will decide which duo walks away with that 100,000 Rand cash prize mm. as the judges choice. First up is the Chief Marketing Officer for Private Property, Brian Courtney. Private Property is an online platform where you can come to look for any type of property across South Africa, be it a home residence, be it a rental, be it commercial properties. It's the place to go to look for anything property related. Every day hundreds of new listings are added to our website, so we see many, many properties and start to understand the trends of how design can genuinely affect the property values. Things like kitchens and bathrooms, making sure they're renovated beautifully, fixtures, 
design elements, bringing in a touch of color. So there's an absolute correlation between well-designed rooms and the price that you can ask for an apartment and the price that people are willing to pay. Private Property has a long-standing history with the show Winner Home. This is our fifth year as the headline sponsor. There's a wonderful synergy between good design and selling property. That is why we're so excited to be involved with Winner Home this year again. We've had some incredible contestants over the years, coming from humble beginnings and now becoming household names. Doing designer homes for the likes of Black Coffee, you'd be amazed to see what this platform can do for young designers. I was really honored to have been asked to be a judge on this year's Winner Home Show. And with my design background, I really hope to bring some fresh perspective to the judging panel and see what these design jurors can bring. Congratulations, <laughs> Then there's the viewer's prize. An amazing opportunity to win a home worth over three million rand. That is the biggest prize on national television at the moment. As private property, we're really aware of how emotional a property purchase can be, or even renting a new place. It is so close to your heart as to where you actually live. So what's incredible is seeing just real everyday people taking a chance and stepping away with an apartment of over three million rand and genuinely changes lives. That's why we feel so privileged to be involved with this season of Win a Home, because it gives real South Africans a chance to dream. When you enter the Winner Home competition on the private property website, take the opportunity to look around and see some of the unique content that we have. From neighborhood videos to estate videos, advice for first time buyers or rental advice, you'll get so many tips and tricks on how to start your property journey. Of course our three design duos this year are waiting for you to vote for them. So visit private property, click on the Winner Home tab and choose your favorite team and they can win an additional 20,000 Rand just by you voting and of course you stand the chance to win the grand prize at the end of the season. So make sure you enter on private property and don't miss out on this opportunity. Hi, I'm Steve Brooks, I'm the CEO of Baldwin Properties. Deeply passionate about this industry, been doing it for 22 years. Started off with a fantastic German grandmother. They used to send us these big parcels full of Lego. And I was obsessed with building. And I'll never forget, I used to get very upset when one tile didn't match the rest of the house. So as my friends say, that started the pedantic side of my passion for this business. I work with the top architects in the country and I love interior decorating. I've worked with the top interior decorators in the country and I've got a fantastic wife that is absolutely superb at interior decorating as well. Part of Play in Somerset West was a deep vision of mine. AECI first owned the land. We bought the first piece of land from them six years ago. The Part of Play precinct has got deep history. I love the, the historic aspect of this development. I have personally bought number eight at Part of Play at the Crescent Houses, which we're busy decorating with a top interior decorator, and it's gonna be my home in the Western Cape. So if I'm buying here, it's gotta be good, guys. So really, I really believe in this area. Winner Home is a fantastic competition. I think SABC, this is what I want to see in the new South Africa, is absolute passion and commitment, bringing new young designers, different types of people doing it. I think it's fantastic to support all these youngsters. I personally am the chairman of the Bourne Foundation, so this is right up my street. I think Winner Home and the Bourne Foundation, I think the mix could be fantastic for the future as well. As a judge, I believe I bring 22 years of deep experience doing this. I've owned over 25 personal homes and sold them all very successfully. I also have an exceptional passion for interior decorating and like seeing good architecture. I'm extremely well traveled around the world, so I've got some good ideas about things. I am fairly outspoken and I really do believe in what I do. My name is Butle Matole. I'm an architect, the director and founder of Gabu Design Architects. My professional background, I started off as a young architect working on commercial buildings for the firms that I used to work for and learned a lot. And as I grew and started off my own firm, we started off on a more residential scale. We love the concrete work, the robust work, and now we've moved as well from small scale to big scale. We do all sizes of buildings. And it's been fun, 10 years working on this, and we learn a lot each and every day. 
I think Win a Home is an amazing platform for young designers. I'm actually thrilled because it gives them an eye into the real world where they're actually able to work with real timelines which are very tight, where they're able to work with real spaces, raw material. I think a lot of young people should experience this because it's an amazing platform for them to translate their ideas into reality with real restrictions. What qualifies me as a judge for Win a Home competition, I believe I've worked a lot with young people, over seven years of experience in teaching and over 15 years as an architect. And I think what I've learned is through my own struggles, how to deal with structure, how to make things work, how to deal with budgets, that makes me understand or become part of what goes on in the mind of a designer and be able to articulate what um, a viewer or a recipient is looking for. Design viewers better watch out and have fun while at it. With over seven years of critting students, I'll be looking out for detail. And because of my architectural background, I always want to make ideas work. So it doesn't end up as just a fluff in the air. Uh, it must be able to work, it must be able to stand. we creating things for real people. Well, you've met the judges, but our judges are not the only ones who get to decide the fate of our duos. You also get to put on your judgy, judgy eyes and looking and voting for your favorites on privateproperty.co.za. Indeed, and over and above that 100,000 Rand cash prize is the judge's choice. The design duo with the most viewer votes, yes, that's from you at home, at the end of the series, will walk away with an additional 20,000 Rand as the viewer's choice winner. Wow. Unfortunately, we want access to that money, but we can't. Unfortunately not. Well, listen, we're still studying in front of these three mysterious doors. <laughs> and all of that will be revealed later in the show, so stay tuned. Indeed, but first we're thrilled to announce that Samsung has joined us this season as the official sponsor of Winner Home. And to celebrate, they will be giving away amazing prizes each week, like the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 smartphone, the Gear X Icon, the Gear Icon X wireless earphones, a Bluetooth soundbar, an MDE compatible fridge, a smart front loader washing machine, a 55-inch QLED TV, and many, many more. So stay tuned to find out how you could be a winner. Welcome back to Win a Home Season 5 on SABC3. I hope you're getting into the action with hashtag Win a Home. Now, the stage is set. We've made our design duos as well as the judges who will be deciding their fate. Now, the fun truly begins. It's time to head to Somerset West and kick off with Win a Home Season 5. Arriving at Part of Play Estate is exhilarating. It's, it's just game time now. <laughs> we, we're ready. It's real. It's happening. <laughs> it's surreal. It's absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, we are here. We're excited, a little nervous, but we're ready to get it. Immediately pulling in, we've been surprised with how neat this estate is and, yeah, just homey feeling. But now it's game time and we have to smash this one. No, we're ready to bring it. We don't have a choice. Hello, Winner Home Season 5 Design Duos, and welcome to Pardeflay. This is Pardeflay Square, one of the incredible developments by Baldwin Properties. And inside this hard hat are the keys to three identical white box penthouse apartments at a new development next door called Pardeflay Lifestyle Estate. These are the units you'll be decorating over the next 10 weeks, room challenge by room challenge. I'm sure you're dying to get stuck in, so let's draw keys to decide which apartment you'll be decorating. Please nominate one member from each duo and come and select a key. Feeling very nervous about the key picking. I hope we get the best apartment with the best view. <laughs> I'm sure we will, because we've got good luck like that. <laughs> Mareko, I'm trusting you're going to do best with those keys. Magic fingers right here. You know it's going to happen. <laughs> this is literally the key to our success. Legit. Right, contestants, the key in your hand could represent the key to your success in this competition. But first, do you have design team names? The team name we have chosen is... Contrast Control. 
Look at us, we are in contrast, but controlling it quite well. Danilo, we've decided to go with Team R and K. Our names are too long. People always get it wrong. So we were just like, you know, we're going to simplify it for them, and she's going to be R and I'm going to be K, and together, R and K. And we are Perma Peeps. Ooh. Our team name comes from our mutual love for permaculture and wanting to bring in that movement and really showcase to society what we can do with it. Now there has to be a twist. For this season of Winner Home, we've decided to change things up just a little. This time round, the leading South African decor magazines will not be your mentors. Instead, they will be your clients. That's right. The magazines will be your imaginary clients. So pay close attention to what they like and to what they don't like to ensure they publish your apartments when they are complete. It's quite interesting. Yeah, we're very excited because it narrows down our profile that we have to work with. Like artists at an easel, I'm sure you're dying to see your blank canvases for the very first time. It's time to head over to Pas de Flay Lifestyle Estate to open the door to your design future. Design contestants, go forth and decorate. Running up there, I'm so excited to just see everything. The ceilings, what, what does anything look like? How are the walls? What are the doors? Are there even doors there, you know? Yeah, we can't wait to get our hands dirty. Adrenaline is rushing here. My hat almost falls off. And I mean, I can't wait to see how our units look. I'm excited. Panting for my breath and I'm like, there's a house to see, there's interior to do. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Running up those stairs, I am just pumped to the max, dying to get in there and to just start bashing ideas out and just having fun with it. Oh my, look at this. Wow, this double volume is amazing. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun with this space. <laughs> Double, Double volume, volume for, for the, the win. win. <laughs> and that concrete slab is just phenomenal. Ooh, this will make a snuggy spare room. There's so much room for activities in here. Love it. Our instant desire is to change is to just simplify the place. So there's a couple of things here and there that are coming down and being changed, but you'll have to watch and see. <laughs> Whoa. Look at the life, look at the ceiling. The ceiling is so high. Yo, and the views. <laughs> We're blown away by the volume we have to work with. It's quite amazing working in such a high volume industrial space. It's a dream. Yo, and there's three rooms. Yes, that's nice. Woo! Oh wow, this is big. This right here is big, look at that, look at that. The three words basically that would sum up what we have planned is firstly delicious, afrolicious, and beautiful. Also functional, that's four. That's four. <laughs> And that, oh, and the space. I love like, the space. I just love it. We can do oh, whatever we want. My goodness, the view is amazing. It's incredible. The light is everything. The light is everything. I think it's it's so much natural light. We can play with so many colors, and everything is just gonna pop. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I agree. We are doing good things in here. We are gonna create heaven in this place. This is gorgeous. Oh. This is stunning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's in here. <laughs> This is the master bedroom. I think this is a well-sized bedroom. We can definitely work with this. Beautiful end suit yes, as well. Yes. Lots of space. Again, lighting. Yes, that's very important. And you know the canvas, white. The splash, splash of color. color. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness, <laughs> baby. Oh, lots of, lots of color. Yeah, no, I think I we see. Can... It's beautiful. We really could We're working from nothing to everything. The idea is already starting to flow, and apart from the judges and you at home, the duos will also have to impress South Africa's top decor magazine editors, who we'll meet after the break.
Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitec will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to When A Home. Now, anyone who is familiar with interior design will tell you that uh, ultimately your creativity is channeled into satisfying the needs of a client. Indeed, it's vital. Now, so the duo's job throughout the competition will be to satisfy their magazine client by keeping their designs on theme with the overall aesthetic and style of the publication. I'm Sumin Brunk, I'm the editor of VC Magazine. We love producing this magazine. We think it's the most beautiful magazine in South Africa because we concentrate on showcasing the best in design, decor and architecture in this country. I think what gives VC the edge is the fact that we are a tiny team that produce a fantastic product. We're all very, very passionate about what we're doing and I think eventually it shows in the product. People love VC. It's a love brand. VC has been involved in the Winner Home contest for the last three seasons. We see it as a great opportunity and I think this year I really like the twist that we are the client, we're not only a mentor. Hi! Hi. How are you? Good. Good. I see Samin and I just know it. That's our client right there. She's draping in black strength and style. I mean, it's bold and beautiful. And I know we are a match made in heaven. I chose Team r &K because I love their energy. They are full of new ideas, they're bold, and they are passionate about decor and all things beautiful. So I think they are going to do a fantastic job. <laughs> so I am your client, and I can't wait to see what you've planned for this beautiful space. Just give me a little bit of an inclination. Yeah, so we were thinking we could like, you know, we want bold and we want to daring. Like, something that people have never seen before. Oh, yeah. And so we have like little elements in each room. And in here we were specifically thinking about like bold tiles. We were thinking about, you know, strong shapes. We're thinking about hexagon shaped tiles in the kitchen area. And of course using black, which is a very unconventional thing to do. Usually people would go for your pastel colors yeah. or your grays and whites and so forth. But we wanted a very unforgettable kitchen. But of course these are our ideas. As a client, what are your thoughts? Oh, I love your ideas. I love the idea of the hexagonals, I love the idea of black, it is very sophisticated, it's very now, and it will work fantastically in this space. Team r &K is definitely taking it. I mean, we, energy, loads and loads of it. And in terms of aesthetics, we've got the winning, winning, winning plans. Yes, exactly. We're bringing ourselves. And what could be better than being authentic? Nothing beats that. <laughs> My name is Gilebo Gile, also known as Lebo. Uh, my surname is Nonzaba, and I'm editor of the fabulous SA Home Owner magazine. It's one of the leading home and deco magazines in the country. The type of content that we create is basically focused around home deco and design, showcasing the fabulous houses that we have in South Africa. And they've actually transformed these houses from just a plain house to actually a warm home. And then we basically share with the rest of the country to give them an idea of how you can actually transform your space from just an open space into a beautiful home. Oh, there you are. Hi, guys. Hello there. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. I'm Lebo. 
Wow, I love Nick and Kihumile. I love their personalities. They stood out for me, their confidence. You know, they knew what our magazine was about. You know, even if we just met for the first time, we both spoke the same language. We actually got on like a house on fire and I'm really happy that, you know, that in my team. So tell me about your vision for this apartment. How we envision this apartment is seeing it as a space where someone can work in it and also be very calm and cozy in it. Yeah, I'm really loving this high ceiling and the offshot of concrete that they did here. I think we can really play with the luxurious aspects of that and then also just create a nice free-flowing space where people can also entertain in. Wow, and that's perfect for our reader. We we found that our readers actually are into functional spaces. Obviously it has to be luxurious, you know, so anything that allows you to have seamless move from one room to another, that will work perfectly for what our readers actually are all about. So yeah, with that said, I'm going to leave you guys with these for some inspiration. Thank you. This is a lot. Yeah. And please make sure you read every page, okay? And Good luck and enjoy. I will be watching you guys. We are the game changers here. We're coming in 150% or nothing. Coming in hot, not taking no for an answer. All of the deliciousness. My name is Debbie Lewitz. I'm the editor of Real Life magazine. We a quarterly publication that goes into the Sunday Times newspaper to select subscribers. We have just recently relaunched Real Estate Life. That was what we were called before. We now called Real Life. We used to be a monthly publication. We now a quarterly. And the reason being is that we wanted to give readers something more substantial, something that they can keep on their bookshelves or their coffee tables for far longer than just one month. I absolutely love the team that I work with. It feels like family to me. We work well together and we're all really part of this vision to make it a beautiful and substantial magazine. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm Debbie. The reason I chose Sinead and Melissa was because I could immediately see that they've got a wonderful relationship as very good and old friends and I really love that spirit. They get each other and I was excited about that. So tell me about your vision for the space. At this stage we're kind of thinking along the lines of permaculture and minimalism which are two things we're both very passionate about and yeah that's sort of where our minds are at at the moment. Sure, very interesting. What the DO stand for is really beautiful and simple and modern. And as a magazine, real life is a little bit more out there. It's a little bit more South African. It's very colorful. It is a bit edgy. So in a way, I'm challenging them to come up with something that's maybe a little bit out of the box for them. And, and I would love to see what they can do with it. Well, you've got a fantastic blank canvas that you can actually work with. So I'm sure it's going to be really beautiful. But just to make sure that you've got some in inspiration I've brought you our new magazine there you go it's hot off the press good luck girls well I hope you're gonna do well and please surprise me we're gonna win this, we're gonna win this. <laughs> and we're gonna win this because I think we are considering things a little bit deeper and bringing elements into the space that are unconventional but will really stand out and be something special for the clients now we've been teasing you throughout the show and it's time to reveal what is up with these doors on Winner Home this season. Uh, the big question is that we have wonderful news for you and that's every time that you enter the grand prize competition for one of the luxury apartments, your entry will also be added to our brand new weekly competition. Yeah, starting next week Thursday, every week we'll randomly draw one name from that week's entries on privateproperty.co.za to participate in the Capitec Open the Door giveaway. Behind each of these three doors lies an incredible prize and if your name is drawn, we'll call you live on air and give you the opportunity to choose one of the three doors for us to open. Whatever lies behind the door you choose will be yours. Now, the prizes hidden behind these doors for this week's competition that you could win next week Thursday are a 5,000 Rand Waylands Vacha, a 5,000 Rand Durham Paint Vacha, or a Tempo Sensation Supreme Queen Bed Set from Venkasa, valued at 50,000 Rand. How insane. That's not all though. We have also partnered with Samsung, and as a weekly winner, you'll be given the chance to win a bonus prize by answering a simple product-related question. This is over and above what you want win behind the door. And kicking off next week, Thursday, you could win a brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 9 smartphone with intelligent dual 
dual aperture camera and Bluetooth enabled S Pen valued at, listen to this, 19,000 Rand. Check this out. The Note 9 is a game changer with more power than you need. But why have a remote control for a phone? <laughs> That's why. The new Galaxy Note 9. It's got more power than you need until you need it. Ah, I'm gonna say it, but wait, there is more! Yes. On top of all of that, if you are a Capita client, all you have to do is answer another easy question and you'll walk away with a bonus cash prize of 5,000 rand. It just keeps coming. So if your name is drawn from the weekly entries, you stand a chance to win three times, dude. How cool is this? And even if you've won all these weekly prizes, you are still eligible for the grand prize and you can enter right now. So make sure you head over to privateproperty.co.za to enter and find all Ooh, the T's and C's. Well, next week our design duos, they're going to be tossed with their very first challenge and they'll need all the energy they can spare to get through this one. Trust me, it is <laughs> going to be riveting. South Africa, until then, good, good night. night. <laughs> this is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Pardaflay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw where this week you could walk away with the incredible Samsung Galaxy Note 9 smartphone. And if that's not enough, Capitec clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Win a home every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. Another feel-good production. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.